Imagine you're a soldier in a war zone. You're moving through a battlefield when suddenly a tiny buzzing object appears in the sky. It's a drone, possibly armed or being used to track your every move. In today's warfare, drones are becoming one of the most dangerous and unpredictable threats. But now one company, Kongsberg from Norway, is working to stop that. They've integrated an advanced counter drone system onto the US Marine Corps amphibious combat vehicle. Let's understand how this works and why it's a game changer. In recent conflicts from Ukraine to the Middle East, drones have proven to be highly effective tools for surveillance, targeting and even direct attacks. They're cheap, easy to deploy and hard to detect. A small drone can fly low, dodge radars and deliver devastating damage or worse, relay your position to artillery systems. This is why militaries around the world are rushing to develop anti-drone or counter UAS technologies. But the problem isn't just about shooting down drones, it's about detecting them in time, tracking them accurately and then neutralizing the threat quickly. The ACV or Amphibious Combat Vehicle is a modern armored transport used by the US Marine Corps. It's meant to replace older vehicles and transport troops from ships to shore. But in 2025, Vehicles like the ACV are no longer just troop carriers. They're turning into fully networked war platforms. And Kongsberg has taken this platform a step further by adding an integrated combat system that includes drone detection, tracking and engagement tools. Kongsberg added several advanced systems onto the ACV. First, there's the Integrated Combat Solution, a digital framework that connects all systems inside the vehicle. It links the radar, cameras, targeting systems and communication tools in one smooth interface. On top of that, they installed the Protector Medium Caliber Turret, which is armed with the MK4430 mm cannon. And here's the key. The turret is now paired with Echo Shield, a next-generation radar system that detects drones at long range, even small ones. So this ACV can now spot a drone, lock onto it and shoot it down, all from one platform. This isn't just a lab experiment. Kongsberg has already tested its systems in real conflicts. Its Typhon counter-drone system has been used in Ukraine, where drones are being used heavily by both sides. The data and battlefield experience from there helped improve the ACV's systems. Uh, for example, the radar algorithms have been upgraded to distinguish birds from drones, a big challenge in urban or forested areas. This kind of testing ensures that what's shown in demos actually works on the battlefield. This upgrade is more than just fancy tech. It shows a shift in how militaries are preparing for future wars. Today's battlefield is multi-domain ground, air, sea, and now cyberspace and drones. So vehicles like the ACV can no longer be just troop carriers. They must defend against air threats, monitor their surroundings in real time, and share data with other units. Kongsberg's integration makes this possible. And although the US Marines haven't officially ordered this upgrade yet, the successful demo increases the chances of it being adopted in upcoming modernization plans. In summary, Kongsberg has successfully demonstrated how a traditional ground vehicle like the ACV can be turned into a powerful smart platform against drones. With real-world data, advanced radar and network systems, it's a step forward in modern warfare. And as drone threats continue to rise, such innovations will become standard, not optional. This also reminds us how quickly the nature of war is changing and why innovation, especially in defence, must always stay one step ahead.